Assalamualaikum. Today we are going to discuss salivary glands tumors. Learning objectives of today's session are analyze the gross and microscopic features of salivary tumors to determine their histological subtypes, evaluate the prognostic significance of various morphological features of salivary tumors. What is a gross description? When we receive a specimen in the laboratory, we examine with naked eye and notes its color, its consistency, its shape. Is the normal tissue is present around or there is tumor invading the surrounding tissue well encapsulated and what is its consistency? And also we look at the history of the uh, lien removed. So this is called gross description. Microscopic examination. After performing gross examination, we cut the specimen and through various steps of processing, slides are prepared and these are examined under microscope. And this is called microscopic examination. Now, usually there are three major salivary glands parotid, submandibular, and sublingual. Majority of the tumors, they are benign and usually they involve the parotid tumor. So, most common benign tumor of the parotid gland is pleomorphic adenoma. Its clinical presentation is usually it is a painless, slow-growing mass or lump in front of the ear. The mass may be present for a few months to several years and may gradually increase in size. The patient may have a history of similar or related tumors in the past or a family history of slavery gland tumors. On physical examination, the mass may have a firm or rubbery consistency and may be mobile under the skin. The overlying skin may appear normal. So here you can see a well circumscribed mass uh, and there is a uh, normal salivary gland at the upper end and here you can also uh, note the gray white glistening cut surface of the tumor and it is encapsulated but at some areas capsule is poorly developed and here is the microscopic appearance at the upper end of the um, slide you can see normal salivary tissue and there are also lymphoid aggregate and then there is a poorly formed capsule and below is a tumor which is different from the normal tissue and here more uh, closer view capsule chondromyxoid stroma epithelial cells and if you look at the more higher magnification the there are ductal cells and myoepithelial cells. Myoepithelial cells are elongated and ductal cells are low cuboidal to flattened in appearance and chondromyxoid stroma. It's like cartilage. Here you can see another photograph of pleomorphic adenoma, well circumscribed, homogeneous glistening cut surface and surrounding a normal tissue. So another bisect uh, specimen of pleomorphic adenoma. Another uh, specimen where the cut surface is yellowish white in consistency. So here is another pleomorphic adenoma showing white glistening cut surface. Now the clinical presentation of Watson's tumor. Watson's tumor is another benign tumor involving the parotid. It is uh, slow growing present in uh, as a swelling in front or below the ear and it usually involves smokers and it is bilateral. The overlying skin may be normal. It is usually uh, involve males and uh, older age group more of 60 years of age. Here is a Warden's tumor. Here you can see its gross description is totally different from the previous one pleomorphic adenoma here you can appreciate a capsule 
and a cystic space is inside the tumor. Here is the normal uh, gland and this is the circumscribed capsule and here are the cystic spaces inside the tumor. Another specimen, you can see small cystic spaces, encapsulated, well circumscribed mass and there is non-neoplastic slavery gland outside the mass. Here is the microscopic appearance of the Vardens tumor. Here you can see there is a lymphoid uh, stroma and there are uh, cystic uh, spaces papil, uh, lined by papillary projections lined by columnar epithelium. So here is uh, papillary architecture, dense lymphoid stroma, cystic spaces and here you can see well encapsulated mass outside is normal parotid parenchyma. Now closer view, cyst contents, oncocytic epithelium, abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm and dense lymphoid stroma. So here is more uh, clearer appearance of Vardens tumor. Lymphoid cells in the stroma, cystic fluid underlying discontinuous basal cells and surface layer pink granular cytoplasm of columnar cells. So this is a warden. Now the most common uh, malignant tumor is mucoepidermite carcinoma. So its clinical uh, picture is different. It is usually um, painful lump in front or below the ear. It is adherent and it is a uh, Sometimes it may be painless, but it may cause facial nerve weakness or paralysis, drooping of the face, difficulty speaking or difficulty closing the eye on the affected site and difficulty swallowing with tumors involve the uh, other structures in the larynx or pharynx. And sometimes patient may present with enlarged lymph nodes in the neck. Now the gross, because it is mucoepidermoid. Muco means it contains mucus. Epidermoid means it is related to the epidermis like uh, appearance. So here you can see the white arrow shows infiltration of the normal parenchyma. It is not well encapsulated. Uh, blue arrow shows a cystic space filled with mucus and yellow arrow reveals normal parotid parenchyma. And other view, you can see the surface is not, cut surface is variegated, have areas of hemorrhage and it is not well encapsulated. Its margins are infiltrative. Here you can see infiltration in the normal tissue. And here is the hemorrhagic areas in the center. Now this is the microscopic features, squamoid cells as, uh, and mucinous cells as well and there are intermediate cells because the as name indicate it is tumor consists of mucus secreting cells and squamous cells. Another view here you can appreciate uh, frequent and abnormal mitosis. Uh, there are uh, pleomorphism cells are of different size and shapes and they have prominent nucleoli. All the features of malignancy are present may find uh, perineural invasion because malignant tumors because they uh, infiltrate around the nerves that's why patient feel pain and here is also uh, lymphovascular invasion you can see endothelial line channels contains tumor so these are the areas which show lymphovascular now the if we analyze the benign and malignant tumors, the benign are slow growing, malignant are slow or fast growing, benign are painless, malignant are painful, um, benign are non-adherent, malignant and adherent and if they present in the oral cavity may be ulceration. The benign are well circumscribed scribed, and the malignant have infiltrative margins. Uh, rubbery, freery, mobile and malignant are hard to form in consistency. They are uh, benign or capsulated. Their cut surface is homogeneous. Malignant has heterogeneous cut surface. They are hard in consistency. 
on microscopic uh, appearance they have uniform cells in b9 ones and pleomorphism and abnormal mitosis in malignant vascular perineural and lymph node metastases are absent in b9 one and vascular perineural um, lymphatic invasion is seen in malignant one so if any comments suggestions or questions you can ask in the comment thank you for watching this video